Excusez-moi, Alexis. Ok, Alexis, I don't think we have any questions. Let's continue. Je crois qu'on on a, on nous a fait remarquer à la pause que on avait parlé du leap out tout à l'heure. Ok, earlier on we talked about leap out, which uh, again is with, with a leap out. You can change something between the representation, the, 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 the representation and uh, the, 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 the vignette. Um, let's take a closer look at this concept. For the two layers that were introduced here, we've uh, the value we've used is all. Okay. Now remember the uh, specification. The specifications, here they are. So we have three values. We have all, lead, and vignette. So what I would like to do is to change. Um, let's um, take this second layer. So the second layer would be this orange box. Okay. So, so let's put it vignette. Let's make it vignette instead of all. So I'm actually going to, to describe the situation. So I want this uh, layer to represent, to, go, to appear as a vignette representation. So what happened? It disappeared. Okay, so you are in developer mode. Absolutely. Yes, if we apply the scaling factor, a, a frogon site looks like this. On a PC screen, this would be the size. So again, let me go, ba go back to my developer mode or editing mode. Again, it's a little bigger, but this is uh, uh, makes it easier to do the work. So if I downsize, notice this layer is back. <coughs> so again, because it uh, was designed for the representation, for the vignette representation. I could also decide to see it in lead representation. And again, if I charge, it's back. And when I diminish, it disappears. So, this is how you can play with your layers. Again, it's based on a description. It's not generated by codes. It's not generated by uh, encrypted uh, instructions. So, this is um, all this is preset. So, all you need to do is to put your values. Uh, your attributes and the values. You have different values for each attribute. We will see a little later uh, that with description you can uh, have uh, create rollover effects, for example, where you change the appearance depending on the button you touch. Uh, again, simply by means of uh, uh, description. So no need to have a script. So again, this is very basic, but if you have several um, dozens of layers, you could get, uh, you know, very interesting um, effects with things that disappear, that appear, and so on. So, I have the ellipse again, and um, so let's just continue our work on this slide.